Hello and welcome to Code Rage 2019. My name is Uwe Rabe. I am Delphi MVP and current maintainer of the MMX Code Explorer IDE expert. There are also some other IDE plugins available from my website. This week is dedicated to Component Design, Open Source and Open Tools API. My session falls into the area of Open Tools API and is titled Decorating the Editor View. If you ever wondered how some Delphi IDE plugins manage to add symbols to the gutter or draw lines or additional text inside the code editor, this session is for you. In the next minutes I will show you how to use the Open Tools API to decorate the editor view with some text and graphics and, what often is neglected when implementing such things for the first time, how to make sure that these decorations stay in sync when editing the code, even if it is just inserting or deleting some lines. About a year ago, I presented my code coverage plugin for Delphi at Icon22. One key part of this plugin is the visualization of the code coverage directly in the source code. To be honest, the real key part of that plugin is to get the code coverage data in the first place. But as ever so often, the tricky parts are often not visible to the user and are simply taken for granted. Let's have a look at how the code coverage plugin acts inside the IDE and what the source code looks like when the plugin is active. This is the test project that comes with the code coverage plugin. It is a simple DUnitX project containing just a tested unit and the accompanying test unit. The class to be tested has two methods that are called from the test by a couple of test cases with different test data. Now let's get the code coverage for one of the methods. For this, we locate the cursor inside that method and click the code coverage switch button in the toolbar. The result is a small symbol for code coverage appearing in the gutter next to the procedure declaration. This symbol is drawn by some editor decoration code we will see in a minute. Now we run the test project through our code coverage plugin. This is triggered by a click on the other code coverage button in the toolbar. The results of this run are shown immediately in the source. First, we notice some blue dots and circles in the leftmost text column. Blue dots mean a covered code line, while blue circles stand for no executable code in that line. At the end of each covered line, we see a number in brackets indicating how often this line has been executed. The number behind the method declaration indicates the coverage for this method in percent. Looks like our tests are pretty comprehensive. To show the results with less coverage, we just skip some of the tests. Now in some lines we see red dots instead of blue ones and a prominent symbol at the end indicating that this line was not executed. Also, the code coverage of this method has dropped to 57%. Let's get back to the topic of this session. We see a symbol in the gutter and some additional text and some more symbols in the source area. Now let's see how they get there. To be able to draw in the editor area, we must implement the interface INTA edit view notifier. The most important method here is paint line. The paint line parameters give us the current edit view, the text of the line and its length, the attributes for each character in the text, the canvas, the text area, the entire drawing area and the size of a single character. The implementation of paint line first saves the current canvas state, that's the brush, pen and font, then some areas needed for later drawing are calculated. The next block checks whether the method is covered, draws the symbol in the gutter and writes the percentage value behind the declaration. In the following code block we look for coverage data for this line. First we draw the dot or circle, the former in blue or red. 
For simplicity, we use special characters instead of icons. Next, we either draw the no coverage icon or write the pass count in brackets. Note that only one of these two blocks will be executed for a line. Although paint line is the most important method we need to implement, the other methods allow us to do some optimizations and updates. Begin paint and end paint are good candidates to prepare and release the relevant data for the current edit view, while Editor Idle allows us to report the coverage status of the current method to the switch button. Let's go back to the test project. What would you expect for the gutter symbol when we insert a line before that method? Of course, it must stay with the method declaration. Unfortunately, that is not going to happen without some other coding. This part is a bit trickier than the simple drawing stuff. Starting from the current editor, editor services stop buffer, we get hands on its edit line tracker. Then we register an IOTA editor notifier implementation for this tracker. This interface is notified when a line changes. This allows us to update the line numbers of the covered methods. That's it! I hope you could follow my explanations and gain some insights into the OpenTools API. You can find the code for the code coverage plugin on Bitbucket, although this may change soon. Search for Code Coverage Magician. Thank you for listening.